Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherall and I am a fourth generation witch. Today I want to talk about magical sleep. Sleep is something that eludes so many of us, so I want to discuss varying ways which you can use magic and witchcraft to help you get a better night's kip. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Zamat, who sent me one of their pillows in order for me to give them an honest review. So here it is. I've got it here. Um, let's have a look. Love parcels. The pillow that they sent me was the Chilling Q, and it arrived very quickly. In fact, I got it in about two days. It was incredibly well wrapped, and once I'd got through everything, it looked like this. A lot bigger than I thought it was. I'm going to try this out tonight, so I'll let you know. So this is a memory foam pillow, and it comes with its own pillowcase, which I'm unzipping here. Inside is the pillow protector, this level, and then you can tape or remove extra wads of memory foam, depending on how high or low you like your pillow. It has a pop-up button in the middle to secure the pillow case in place. And this blue area that you see is where it's supposed to be a cool area. And this I'm most interested in because I'm incredibly hot. So I tried the pillow out last night and I went to sleep with it then. And my first impressions were, which is it is extremely comfortable. I enjoyed using it. My second thoughts are, is that the Chilling Q pillow is chilling. And so I'm quite impressed. In the morning, I found that my back was quite well supported. My only issue is I don't like the colour. But that, of course, is easily changed. Zamat have given me a 15% discount for all my followers. So should you wish to purchase the pillow, do use the code GINNY15 at the checkout. If you click on the link in the description box below, this will take you straight through to their website. We spend so much of our lives asleep, and so it is really important to try and get as much use from that sleep as possible. It is through sleep that we regenerate, not just our bodies, but our energy. Now, what I mean by that is that we're regenerating our magical power. So it's very important. So tonight, I'm going to show you how to improve your dream state and get that perfect connection through varying methods. So lots of people start by having a bath and within the bath they'll put some flower petals, some essential oils, they might light some candles or play soothing music. All of this ritual is of course incredibly worth it. However, it's not necessarily helping your magical energy. Let's look at some very definite ways in which you can really work this. The first one is to create a sacred space. Now, lots of people like to create a sacred space in different ways. I personally want to enhance the atmosphere of my room. Placing a bunch of flowers by your bed is one of the easiest ways to do this, so you can hail their scent as you sleep. Nature is abundant with flowers and plants, all of which have great use. I personally like to use lavender as a dried form underneath my pillow because when you inhale the scents of lavender, it really helps to perfume your mind with sleep. It is known as a sleeping herb. As much as eating lettuces, you know, that is why Peter Rabbit fell asleep in Mr. McGregor's garden after eating lettuce. It's a soporific. Other great herbs that you can use are yarrow, which is known in my family as the witch's herb because it's almost a panacea for all things great. One of my other favourite herbs to use is valerian. Just dry the flowers and place them in a sachet underneath your pillow for you to inhale as you sleep. This is one of the easiest ways to help you really take advantage of those eight hours a night. Other ways that you might find herbs useful to help you fall asleep is to take them as a tea. For example, mugwort tea or chamomile tea. I 
personally don't find that either of these work, but that's because I don't actually like the taste. And I reckon that if you don't like the taste of something, then it tends not to tune with your body so much. Other people certainly like to use crystals. Crystals just need to be in your environment. They don't necessarily need to be touching you. But it does have, you know, they are more potent if they're closer. The more you have of them as well is the greater the potency. So if you can create a circle of crystals around you, then this will really help to gain their necessary energies. This is why I sometimes wear a rose quartz necklace at night. Rose quartz is incredibly loving and has a great sort of calmness energy to it. And this is perfect should you wish to sleep. Next, why don't you infuse the air with the essence of enchantment? I love a rose and so a rose scented candle is almost always lit every night before I go to bed. Or you can make your own Sweet Dreams incense blend and I'm using lavender and rose. Beautiful. Now, it is important to remember that in order to produce a safe environment for you to sleep and dream in, you need to have no negative energy around you. I would suggest that you use incense sticks, or joss sticks as we English call them, um, around and especially underneath your bed. Remember, monsters live underneath the bed, and this is not just a fabrication of children's minds. When you sleep, your magical energy is replenishing and cleansing itself, and so negative energy tends to drop from you. And of course, this drops down, and it tends to pull under the bed. Now, this can attract all sorts of monsters under the bed, so therefore, very important, do get that smoke sticks underneath your bed area and really cleanse it. You can also cleanse your own aura before you go. I often find this makes me feel lighter. I don't want to dream of bad stuff. And in fact, it's a bit of a red flag if I'm having nightmares. This means there's something not good happening. I mean, sort of uncomfortable dreams, that's probably fine. But nightmares, actual nightmares, mm -mm, massive red flag. Other crystals I like to use are things like selenite, the moon crystal. Labradorite, it's terribly protective and that's you know great for really keeping you safe whilst you're sleeping. Because when you sleep and when you dream, this is actually when you astrally travel. You're off there, seeing the world, other worlds, whoever. And this is at times that you can make some really profound understandings of what is going on in the world. However, there's one thing about dreaming this, as they say, and another of actually remembering it. Keeping a dream journal is also incredibly useful. Dreams show us not just um, aspects of the universe that we can't see necessarily during the day, but also it can show us the future. I often dream of the future. And the only reason I know that I'm dreaming of the future is because I write it down. And then when I get to that part of the future, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, it's in my book. So I cannot recommend highly enough dream journaling. It really does help. Casting a spell just before you go to sleep is also a very useful and innovative way of helping you achieve your dreams, literally. So here is what I would say before I go to sleep. As I close my eyes and enter my dream world, I call upon the magic within me to guide my way, reveal to me the mysteries that my soul seeks to know. And that is a perfect incantation to say when you go to bed. The clearer the dream that you have it tends to mean that that dream is you interacting either with people now or with future events. And so do write it down because you'll find that you will be dreaming of the future. This is why Native Americans have dream catches. It is an important part of the witchcraft culture. I do journal my dreams as much as I possibly can because as Oscar Wilde said, it's important to have something interesting to read on the train. 
Let me know in the comments how you prepare for a magical sleep. I mean, there are so many different variants of it. This is my personal view and how I do it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, don't forget, I've got my blog going, ginnymetherall.co.uk. Go and have a read of that. I'll put a blog off about dreams quite shortly, I should imagine. My monthly coving meeting will be coming up around the 20th of August. So do go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherall in order to check that out. It's really good fun and you will learn so much, I promise. Otherwise, I really need you to like and subscribe because that supports this channel and really enables me to carry on making these videos for you. Otherwise, I will see you in a very short time. Mm -hmm.